I've tried on over 20 pairs of different jeans in the last couple of weeks, trying to find the best pair of jeans for under £100. And out of all the pairs I tried, I only liked about five or six of them, so I thought I'd share those pairs with you today. Some of the pairs have a more relaxed fit, and some of them have a more slim fit, so hopefully there'll be something for everyone here. This is all just based off my first impressions of each pair of jeans, so if you've owned any of these pairs for a while, and you've had a horrendous experience with any of them, then please do let us know. Just for reference, I'm six foot and I've got a 30 inch waist. I also measured my thigh and that's about 22 inches. So hopefully that helps. If you like this video at any point, please do drop it a like. And now that's all out the way, I better get into the jeans. So let's start off with the most well-known jean brand first. Levi's. So everyone knows about the 501 by now, and if you don't own a pair, then you've probably owned a pair in the past. They're the most famous pair of jeans out there, and if they fit you well, they look incredible. Also, if these fit you well, then you're sorted, because you can pick them up secondhand for a great price, and there's always loads available. Unfortunately for me, they do tend to fit too snug in the thigh, but you can see them on me here. So here I'm wearing a size 30-32, and the waist fits me perfectly, but the thigh is a little bit too tight. The 540 teens, however, solve all the problems I have with the 501, so let's have a look at them. You can get a pair of these for about 50 quid in the sale, and that's how much I paid for my pair, but full price, they're about £100, I think. And these give off a similar look as the 501s, but they're made with 2% elastane, so they're a lot stretchier and more comfortable. And because of that stretchiness, I no longer get the tightness in the thigh area like I do with the 501s, but they still hug my thighs like the 501s. And like the 501s, they've got a classic and timeless fit, it. So yeah, they'll never go out of style and they're really versatile. And the pair that I've got here are in a size 3130. I could have gone for a size 3030, but they didn't have my size at the time I ordered these. But overall, I really like the fit of these jeans. They are a little bit slimmer, but if you struggle with 501s like I do, then give these a go. And just to let you know, I also tried on the 505s, the 502s, the 555-96s, the 551Z, and a couple of other pairs, but the 514s were the best of the bunch for me. So let's move on to Abercrombie next. Now people always rave about Abercrombie jeans online, so I thought I'd pick up some pairs that I haven't tried yet. And the pairs people always bang on about are the loose jeans, the loose worker jeans, and the 90s jeans. So I picked up all three pairs to give them a go. So I'm going to start off with the bad pairs first, and then move on to the good pair after. And when I say bad, I mean bad for me, because I know a lot of people love these jeans, but the loose fit jeans, both pairs, the workwear pair and the regular pair, didn't do it for me. I found the shape of them really weird on me. They kind of bellow out at the sides and they look really unflattering. I hope the camera picks it up and you can see what I'm on about, but they kind of like stick out at the sides and they look horrible on me. Maybe my body's the weird thing here and it's not the fit of the jeans, but they do look weird on me, I think. But if you've got these jeans and this doesn't happen with you, then please do let us know because I might be putting people off a perfectly good pair of jeans here. On the plus side, the quality is decent and I do like the colorways they come in, but uh, yeah, the fit is just all off for me. But let's move on to a pair that I liked better, and that's the 90s jean. Now, when I ordered these, they didn't have my size left, so I had to order in a 31 waist. Because these jeans are more slim fitting, the 31 waist is actually okay, and I don't notice it being overly big. I also went for these in a size 30 leg because I thought they'd look better a little bit shorter with a pair of high top Chuck 70s or a pair of boots. But now looking at them, I wish I'd gone for the size 32 leg. The shape of these are a lot better than their other pairs, which isn't hard in my experience. But uh, yeah, this pair have a timeless cut, which I really like. Straight cut, regular fitting jeans will never look out of place, no matter what the trends are doing. So there's never a bad time to wear them. So yeah, if you want a regular fitting jean for a decent price, then give these a go. I would have preferred them in black though. Next up, I thought I'd try some of the most popular jeans from Wheat Day, and I'm afraid to say that the Astro isn't one of those pairs. They're just way too big for me. They're not my style at all. So I left those and I picked up the Space Jeans and the Galaxy Jeans jeans instead. But let's start off with the space jeans first. So when it comes to sizing with jeans, sizing can be a little bit all over the place, but when it comes to weekday jeans, 
it's something else. When it comes to Wheat Day, I have to size down in pretty much everything they do. But when it comes to their jeans, I have to size down two full sizes. I even managed to get into a pair of jeans with a size 27 waist, no problem. So the sizing is way off. Well, they're consistently inconsistent. So as long as you know they run big, you'll be fine. Anyway, once you get your size sorted, the jeans are actually really decent for the price. The cuts are nice, the quality is decent. And for £50, there's not going to be a lot out there that beats them. So the jeans I'm wearing have a size 28 waist and a 32 leg and they fit me well. I think they look fairly flattering on me and they have a nice relaxed fit. They come in a load of different colorways so you've got plenty to choose from and you can be a little bit more adventurous than I am. I always go for black. Oh and by the way all the jeans that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box below. So let's have a look at the weekday galaxy jeans. Now, I've been seeing these jeans everywhere over the past year or two and I can see why. They've got a really nice silhouette and they can add some nice shape to your outfits. And if you're into the whole boxy and crops look with your tops, then these jeans are going to work perfectly with that kind of style. But to be honest with you, if you like relaxed fits, then you're probably going to like these. They're too baggy for me personally and for my style, but it doesn't mean I can't appreciate them. And when it comes to sizing, you know the drill. Go down two full sizes in the waist with these and you'll probably get a good fit. I actually ordered these before the space jeans, so I only went down one size and they are too big for me. I would have been better off with a size 28 waist. But you can tell the sizing is way off with weekday jeans when you go on their website Site, and the size 27 34s are out of stock. Also, while we're talking about weekday, I also ordered in a pair of their Joel Chinos at the same time I ordered these jeans in, and I really like them, so I thought I'd show you them. So, if you like Dickies 874s or 873s, then you're probably going to like these. They've got a straight fit, the quality feels decent, and they go with everything I've paired them with so far. So, boots, loafers, sneakers, you name it. They're made from 100% cotton, the button details are really nice on them and the size 46 fits me perfectly. I've just been wearing them a lot since I bought them and I was worried this video wouldn't have enough pairs of jeans in it so I'm throwing in this pair as well even though they're not jeans. Anyway let's move on to the next pair of jeans. So the next pair I've got are from All Saints. Now I might be bending the rules a little bit here because these jeans are normally £119 but I got them in the sale for around £80 and they're still £80 on their website so I'm going to include them in this video. So these these are their Curtis jeans and these are the first pair of jeans I've ever tried from All Saints. I picked them up in a size 30 and they fit me absolutely perfectly. They hug my legs in a way that makes them feel safe and I really like the length on these as well. I think these jeans are going to work perfectly with my Chuck 70s or a pair of boots and that's what I plan to wear them with. And to be honest, I pretty much live in my Chuck 70s and my boots these days, so I'm probably going to wear these quite a lot. And as well as this colour, they also do them in a washed out grey and a light blue pair with a ripped knee. Now this might annoy some of you and maybe you'll lose a little bit of respect for me, but I'm quite liking the distressed jean look at the moment. I don't know why and maybe it's just a little bit of a phase, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. But the quality feels decent on these, they're fairly thick, and yeah, they fit well. Of course, there's so many other pairs of jeans out there for under £100 that I haven't got around to trying yet, but having over 20 pairs to try all at once was a little bit overwhelming. If enough of you want to see another one of these videos where I try on other pairs of jeans under £100, then do let me know and give the video a like. And if you want me to try out a particular pair of jeans that you love under £100, then do let me know what they are in the comments. But I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please drop the video a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. See you later.